How are we doing there this morning? It is Sunday. We've got one full day today, one full day tomorrow. Tuesday, we're going to get ready to leave. We are going to Waterbomb Park in Cooter. Um, we had a good night last night. Plenty of drinks. A little bit worse to wear, but we're going to go nonetheless. Get some breakfast in Seminyak. There's nothing around here. And then we're going to head down back up to Cooter. Um, so we're going to have some fun at the Waterbomb Park. We've arrived at Waterbomb Park. The sun has come out. It's hot. And we're going to have a good time. So let's go. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. We're done water from park. Great fun. Plenty of rides, food, drink, um, fish spa, spas in general, body massage. Um, overall, pretty good. And I see why they gave it a really high rating in the world, the top three. So we're done, we're gonna get some food and we'll see you later. We are in Legia Beach, in the Sky Legion Beach Club, it's called Sky Beach Club, S-K-A-Y Beach Club. We're just getting some food, getting a lamb shank, lamb shank, extra veggies, squid over there, gnocchi over there. It's Sunday, so we leave Tuesday unfortunately. The weather's nice at home. The weather's freezing cold in Melbourne, Australia, cold. But had a good little break away from all the uh, rat race. But all good things come to an end. So.
how we doing people this morning it's our second last day here we're flying out tomorrow uh, to Singapore and then to Melbourne land Wednesday morning um, it is the 17th here Monday I'm going to give you my little comprehensive first time review of what I think of Bali now mind you I haven't done everything in Bali I've only been here 11 days so um, what I can tell you is what I've seen so far um, but generally will cover the basis for anyone that wants to come for their first time or people that have been multiple times and just still aren't sure um, come sit down and check it out and have a chat. Come on people this is our little well, this is my little comprehensive um, review this is the second last day we're here not gonna have time tomorrow to do a review but um, I'm gonna give you the pros and cons of coming to Bali from a first time point of view um, we'll start. We'll start with the the bad things and some of the uh, some of the hard things to get by for some people. Um, in my eyes, there's two key cons to Bali um, that will stop people to come in. And if you can conquer these, you can pretty much do most of Southeast Asia. But what what I will say is the first two are the traffic. It's actually organised chaos in this place. There's no rules, bikes everywhere scooters bikes no one really really cares it's just complete chaos here um, and I think also the dirtiness it is it's a third world country and they're not really good at processing their rubbish here like Western uh, Western, Western countries like um, you know, America Australia they're more developed countries they're not so much developed in this department um, and the dirtiness also affects the sewage sewage stinks you know, you get used to it after probably 24 hours as a first timer, which I did, I started to get used to it. But to me, they're the two cons for anyone that's really, um, what's, the, what's the word, that really are hesitant to come here. If you can get by the dirtiness, you get by the noise, the traffic, the bikes, the smell, I think you'll be fine. You can get past everything else here in, in Bali. Um, but they're the two main cons. Some of the other cons, which I jotted, uh, jotted down just here, is you can't drink. You can't drink uh, tap water. It's it's got diseases and stuff here, so you have to drink bottled water. But again, that creates dirtiness, the pollution problem here because they don't dispose of the plastic and the waste properly. So you can't drink. Um, you have to drink all bottled water, which they're pretty much everywhere here. Um, it's also this was a, a con early on. I didn't find it too much to be a problem. Now back ago they said barley you couldn't have ice cubes. Um, now this is from a Western point of view and in the Western way we went to restaurants, didn't have much street food. Uh, even though we did have the street food at restaurants, we had ice in our drinks and we had no problem with it. I did not feel sick from, uh, we're talking like a barley belly type sickness. So ice cubes aren't a problem now if you choose the restaurants carefully in a way. Ones that are probably populated by tourists generally they know now that they can't afford to make ice cubes in contaminated water now. So I've had no problem. I've been drinking cocktails and, and spirits and stuff like that with ice and I've had no problem at all. Um, so there were some of the main things. Some other little points that I like to bring out to you are um, lots of beggars and hawkers in sort of places like Kuda. Kuda's quite dirty and it can be quite annoying. So as a con and a, and a, and a pro, I think Kuda is a, is a con comparison um, other things a lot of stray animals that might catch families out for coming for the first time it can be a little bit disheartening seeing you know really tired malnourished pets especially dogs um, because dogs and cats are sort of sacred in their religion so they, they can just roam whatever they want they won't harm you um, but yeah that's a sight that people might not like um, yeah so I think stray dogs is one height high um, tax on food and drink in restaurants. I mean, it is cheap here, so that's a pro, but they, a con is they put like nearly 17, 80% of tax. So it probably adds up to maybe like 20,000, which is maybe like $2 in Australia, um, but it still adds to, adds to the bill. Uh, another thing is also a con, which you have to be careful, I haven't had it so far, touch wood, but obviously it's barley belly and any disease. We know a couple that came here that got some but I've got a barley belly, it took them 24 hours or so to pass it, but 
you just have to be very ca very careful um, barley belly here so it depends on the route that you want to go if you want to stick to straight food or you want to uh, stick to the westernized restaurants breakfasts lunch dinner style um, we stuck by the westernized um, breakfast lunch and dinner just to be on the safe side because you can't afford to really get sick it's um, it's not that they can't look after you that's not the problem it's just that it just takes time out of your holiday to be sick you know all that you know. Um, so yeah that's my little rundown of the cons I think as I said the main two got to get past the dirtiness and you got to get past the traffic and the smell if you can succumb to that I think I think you'll be able to be fine in Bali now having said that this is Bali this is in the whole Indonesia this is only just what I've been or what I've witnessed in the 11 days that I've been here so there's some of the um, cons that I see here in, um, in Bali at the moment so I'm going to give you the pros of Bali from my point of view that I've been here for 11 days um, it's cheap so if you're a westernizer uh, from Britain or America Europe um, it's actually very cheap. Your money goes actually better than Australia. Australia gets, if you do an exchange right here, Australia gets one dollar to nearly ten thousand. Back at home, it's one dollar to nearly eight thousand. So it's a lot less. So your money goes quite far here. America is like thirteen thousand. So you get an extra nearly three hundred, um, which goes a long way here. Uh, and I think there's a good variety of Westernized food. So. We didn't go, as I mentioned before, we didn't go down this, much of the street food, we only had it once. But if you're into the street food, highly recommend it. Um, there are some good restaurants and whatnot that do street food. What I've been told, especially by our drivers and cab drivers, we personally didn't take the risk just because, you know, don't know how, to, how your body reacts to it. So but what I've been told is some decent street food. There's been some bad ones that we've seen. So that can be a pro and a con, just be wary of where you go. Um, also, in terms of back to the food again, from, we stayed in small, the other side of Seminyak, and good quality food, westernized food as well, um, Chinese food, Australian food, and whatnot, especially even Indonesian food. Really good in Seminyak Square, village centre as well, some really good places like uh, Sister Fields, Boss Man Burgers, so a place like that. I know you come to Bali to try the street food, but if you're playing safe, these places are good to go to as well. If you're if you're just on a holiday, you don't really care what you eat as well. Um, the weather is fairly consistent, even in wet season. We're in the high season now. Um, we had rain probably the first two or three days we were here. Probably rained the heaviest on Tuesday night, but we haven't had really any rain since. So we've, and we've been here for 11 days. So the weather is quite good. Can be um, inconsistent, but I think it's a, it's it's a pro nonetheless. Um, there's plenty of tours sightseeing, uh, water sports, we didn't get around to the water sports just as a new, kind of gets overwhelming travel and all that, um, but there's plenty to see and do so I'll be back to do more water sports and visit other islands and whatnot. So, Also um, there's a great range of villas and resorts, now we're staying here in the second villa, um, we're just to mix it up, it's my first time here just to mix it up as another, and we're staying on the Legian side. Still Seminyak and more Langi inside. Um, they're very consistent. I, if I look between the first villa and the second villa, there's not much to distinguish, just the smaller details between one and the other. Now I can give a little rundown um, between our two villas and the names and how much it costs roughly. Um, another pro is Bali's people are very nice. They're very generous. I mean, they're third world country. Our dollar goes quite far here. So if you treat them well, um, and you look after them, even if you give them a tip, always tip, we tip them um, because really to us, 100000 is only really $10 for us back at home or wherever you are and you know, these guys, they don't make that money, they make maybe $300 a month, you know, so they make $3 million a month, which generally speaking, even the lowest paid person would make more than $300 a month, so they're very polite, so if you look after them and you try to learn their language, which I did and completely butchered it, as you can see in some of the, the previous videos before I did try um, so yeah they've got a good variety of food drink beast clubs really good beast clubs good music if you're that it's more of a chilled vibe um, cuter is more party if you're after that style but still lacking in, um, in variety in terms of the nightlife compared to other places like Europe uh, and America but then again it's an island with really good beast clubs so I highly recommend if you're going to go from that point of view oh yeah there's good shopping here we just come back and do some shopping and 
things might be fake and whatnot, but generally speaking, it's really good shopping here. Um, so for next time, come back, come with empty suitcases, um, and you can just just stock them up, especially from westernized country, westernized countries. Your dollar goes quite far here when you exchange it, so you can really load up and get some good good um, deals for maybe a hundred, two hundred dollars. You can really really cash in as well. Um, most people speak English, which is handy. Um, the village is not so much, but western busy parts of Seminac, Kuda and all that, um, parts of Ubad, Legian, they all speak English, so that's a good thing. There's a lot of uh, convenience shops with ATMs, so ATMs not a problem, there's plenty of them there. Uh, they take most of the major cards as well, um, so I think that's a good thing. There's also, if you're feeling uh, homesick, there's also takeaway shops from like uh, Hanwick, what is it, uh, Burger King. So Burger King, KFC, McDonald's, we didn't try that, we just stuck to restaurants and all that. Um, also, actually, if I go back, another con is the distance to get between places. Now, it could be a good thing because you can you can see a bit of everything and you can see how it works, but what I mentioned before, I, didn't, I forgot to mention that. The distance between things, and maybe only two or three Ks, but in a taxi, it might take you like half an hour, 45 minutes, just because of the, the traffic. So... I did forget to mention that before, but that is one uh, thing to keep in mind that it might only be a couple of Ks, but it'll, it'll take you a while. Um, but apart from that, there's plenty of plenty of pros. Just adding some information that I forgot. I'm going to do the pros and cons. Um, another con for this place is it's not very accessible. So the resorts have accessibility lifts and ramps, but the footpaths are just a mess even some of the good footpaths there's bikes and stuff on here as well uh, the mosquitoes which I mentioned for another video that's also a problem as well I'm covered in mosquitoes um, so there's some cons to consider with there especially if you have a disability um, it's really not recommended to be honest just because of the lack of accessibility lack, lack of accessible cars footpaths just there's really no space for wheelchairs in Bali, um, if you go into the resort with an accessible car, you probably could get around, but no one wants to be stuck in the resort um, for the whole time that they're here. So that is one major con that um, that you can consider as well. So. We're on this maniac beach with bikes everywhere, people everywhere, drinks everywhere. It's sad to see it go. But the show must continue. Um, we're gonna miss all that to my right. But once you get stung and you get bitten, you just gotta keep going, work hard, save up, travel, enjoy life because you don't know what's around the corner. At the end of the day, you only live once. Live, live, enjoy, drink, good company. Take advice, but then again, don't take advice. Do what you like within limits, within legal limits, and go into the world. Sometimes the best things are out of your backyard. Apart from that, just enjoy it, and that's it.